Yeah. Safety gear, you gotta love it. This is, uh, this is part four of the beginning to end, how do you make a sculpture video? Or how do I make a sculpture? And I'm working on these big triangles that are part of the interior structure of this sculpture that I'm gonna make. This is what will actually hold the skin when I weld the skin on, but it's gotta be strong enough to be nine foot in diameter be able to hold all that weight up there, so that's why I'm using this eighth inch plate. Now, uh, if you saw the last video, I cut these out of that eighth inch plate with the plasma cutter, got the shape that I wanted out of them with this arc in them, and now I, uh, I bored out my holes to half inch in diameter, because that's the size rod I'm gonna use to make the ring that goes around the inside of this sculpture that these actually go to and get welded to. So half inch bolts, stack them up, bolt them all together, grind them, shape them, get them pretty close. You know, they're not exactly perfect. You know, they don't look like they came off of a machine. I don't want them that way. I want them to have some flaws in them. I want it to have a little life. I want it to have a little variation. You know, if I wanted it to look like a machine did it, well, I'd go have the machine do it. It's me instead. So using my big Makita, uh, seven inch grinder with a cutoff wheel instead of a grinding wheel. So it's really thin, just like they use on a chop saw. And they just make them smaller, so you can put them on grinders for stuff like this. Big, lots of power, lots of torque, you, you gotta hang on to it. And you start making a cut with it, it'll, it'll wanna jump on you sometimes. But what I was doing was at the end of my triangle, just wanna cut that notch in there so now this little quarter by quarter stock will fit down in there that way. I can tack it on the inside, but this gives me something in between each of the triangles for my skin to go to, for me to weld. I can clamp it, I can weld it, finish it, grind it. You know, and this just helps tie everything together. With just the half inch rod and the triangles on it, it it's kind of wobbly. It, it's still, you know, still not supported very well. But once I get the quarter by quarter in there and tack them all together, string them together, help stiffen everything up, well, then it supports itself. You can leave it up on just one corner and it'll sit there. So then I just, I got two more ends to go here. So let me just spin this guy around. I got wedges under it to help make up for the thickness of the bolt head trying to get it flat and level and then clamp it to the bench so things stay still so while I'm cutting I'm not chasing it across the bench. But I can finish those two and then I can start rolling out my rod, my half inch rod. Got to lay out a eight foot circle on the ground, roll that out and make that rod fit. Then I can start putting these on the rod, start welding it together. More steps, more steps, more steps. Oh, hang on, let me get this going. And just a word on safety really quick. Um, you know, like I said before, this big grinder, lots of horsepower, lots of torque, especially for doing something like this, where, where you're trying to do you know, delicate work with it. Um, just like with a chainsaw, when you're cutting with the very end of it, with the tip, you know, with the, the uh, tip of the bar, and it'll jump back at you. Same thing, you start cutting in there, really gotta hang on to it. Don't get your face over it. Leave it out there in front of you. If it wants to jump, let that puppy go, let it get out of the way. But anytime you're cutting, anytime you're grinding, all that fine dust, dust mass, glasses, hearing protection, gloves, lots of sparks, don't need to get burned. Okay, turn your, put your glasses on, turn your speakers down. This gets a little noisy.
feel like you're doing a strip tease? Da 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 da. Yep. After a while, you get pretty good at it. You, you can you, you get a pretty good eye. Your eye gets calibrated to what you're doing. So you know that's just almost exactly where I want it. So finish this last one. Go lay out my circle so I know how big to roll it. You know, roll my half inch. Start putting this puppy together. Oh boy. All right, let me get this done. I'll see you next time.